The Eastern Illinois University men's club hockey team is a thriving program unlike any other club team on campus. The team prides itself on its ability to maintain a competitive organization year in and year out, and they have done just that by having a winning record versus top-of-the-line opponents across the country. The one thing they cannot call themselves yet is an officially sanctioned EIU team. That is their goal. This is their fight to make it happen. Last year uh, marked like the first season that we really turned around. You know, we had our constitution meetings with the school every week and, you know, really defined roles. And we had a successful season, beat the uh, number one team in the league that we play in, the MACHA. So we did you know, really successful last year. From our freshman year, I feel that I feel that we have really improved. Each year we've gotten better and better. Uh, this past year was our best year so far. Um, we came out, you know, over 500, and I think our whole team really contributed. I heard, uh, you know, a lot of people say goalies are weird guys. <laughs> you ever heard that before? You ever heard, heard people say that? I've heard many people say that. What do you? What, what is your take on that? Are you a weird guy? Um, I mean, I feel like I'm a pretty normal guy. Um, why, why do you think people say goalies are weird guys? I think mainly because a lot of them are very superstitious. I mean, yeah, that'd be the ultimate goal, was to be recognized as a school sport here. Maybe uh, get some fans out to some games, you know, come watch us play. Yeah, I've had these bad boys for a couple of years now. Do you, uh, do you believe that this team should be granted permission? to be a sanctioned team? Um, yeah, I mean, why not? We're, we, have a better rec we have a better record than the football team. <laughs> um, as far as students-wise, I mean, this, this, the campus loves us. I mean, they love coming to any, like, thing, any events that we host on campus. Um, we used to do fan buses, you know, we'd get Ten buses, I think, was the max amount that I've, I've scheduled before. You know, ten buses full of kids coming out to Danville to watch us play. And uh, that was always a blast, you know, seeing, you know, a couple hundred kids coming to watch our team play, and we play like an hour, 15 minutes away from school. Probably everybody on the team, we just go out and play with our old teams, you know, get, get some ice time in, you know, just get everybody going, keep the legs moving the whole summer, and, you know, come in. You come in strong for the beginning of the season. You come in in shape, and, you know, you just build off that. Also, we, uh, we play rollerblades just like uh, ice hockey, a little different. Um, it's the same uh, game speed and all, moving the puck around and all that, communicating on the ice. Uh, also, we just watch what we eat, eat healthy, and get our cardio in. A lot of the college kids on this campus do come from the southern suburbs, uh, northern suburbs, Chicago area. They all know about hockey. Um, I feel like it would really do pretty well at Eastern Illinois. Um, our athletic department seems like ever since I've been here hasn't been as strong as other schools, and I don't see why hockey um, wouldn't wouldn't fit in well here. You know.